Uh, fellow Ambazonians, welcome Una, for this uh, for this part three of the Independence Day celebration for celebrate the sixty the sixtieth anniversary for our Independence Day, the day where God will be decide and we will be decide saying that the day this would oh choose them for be our Independence Day and the day where the United Nation and the entire world will be grand with this independence. So we'll be very happy, say all we will be alive today for can celebrate this day. Now a very big day for all our forefathers and where they run the dream for see a day where they pick them for Southern Cameroon for Ambazonia. They go rise up for embrace their identity. It don't be 60 years we will be separate from Nigeria, gain our independence from Britain, be attached forcefully for the Republic to come around. For these 60 years, there will be a systematic attempt for suppress, for destroy our identity. Over four years of resistance, the Ambazonian people, they don't demonstrate today for the whole war, made and see who said their allegiance it be, for see who said their identity be, and that identity it be now for Ambazonia. We do want to thank all those who they don't pay with their blood for make sure say, this day it happened. General Mba Aibo, Braveheart, General, uh, the General Amigo, and many other Ambazonian forces, the way they don't pay with their blood, make we see this day. And the one the way that they see stand guard for who they mantle for make sure say me will effectuate this Independence Day. Happy 60th anniversary, now a wonderful day for celebration. Well, mommy and our papa, them now a great day for the people of Southern Cameroon. Now, actually, a very great day. One start for honor all the Ambazonians, them, all our forefathers, them, the one the way they be sacrificed for make sure, say, we actually get that self governance, that self determination. For all our big papa, them, where they use their, their head, they carry away from, from uh, the Eastern House. They make that decision, that bold decision where they be making will not be easy for their time. But they make that decision, it laid the foundation for place where they. So no matter place where they did for their spirit, one honor that bravery, where they be no say they say the best thing for them for do them, and for lay a foundation for their picking them, for their future picking them, for their future grand picking them. But they not remain for outside country, but may they get a country of their own. When a God it be give them, we thank them plenty. Secondly, we want to thank all the ones the people that they don't sacrifice their lives, the ones where they don't pay the ultimate price for this war of liberation, the ones where they don't give their blood, they give their life, they lay their lives as the cornerstone to make sure say, this generation it takes the gift of freedom. We bless them, we thank them for their sacrifices, and we want to tell them say, that because of them, today the Ambazonian people they be proud for stand up for reclaim their identity and for proclaim themselves as a free people. We thank them plenty. And also, we we'll not forget our prisoners of war, the Benjis, those that will be picked up illegally from Nigeria, carry them go and for instance, the Republic, Seseko, Ayoktabi, and all a crew for a group for the IG group, and those that will be held for instance, Douala, for the Republic, for New Bear Prison. All the dungeon there for Cameroon, the ones the way they know be on where they be unaccounted for, and the one the way they don't arrest them this night because Cameroon they try for suppress them for our prisoners of war for the one for New Bear would not see how they take even waterproof for celebrate our independence day. The one that for Konengi they will put them video camera 24 hours for make sure say me they know so come out for celebrate independence day, but then come out our IDPs them will also see images them from IDP comes and for inside Biafra land. How did they celebrate our independence day throughout our national territory and today now a wonderful honor and privilege for me and my my my, my best friend in in patriotism our patriotism now bring us together for day for this platform the acn one of the best and the most edu educational pan-africanist liberation tv for sub-saharan africa we want to salute our biafran people them as well our partners and for the basque region and those for lowest uh, city way they don't recognize you through Seseko Air for them also. And the wonderful job them for the various uh, mission them across the globe for South Africa, for Germany, for America, for DC. I think our OGC is arriving in DC to join the celebration. Amazonians are celebrating even amidst the lockdown. The 
areas that are, are, are dynamically controlled and some areas we come around military but in all liberation areas on the ground we are seeing people celebrating festivities are ongoing it's 7 p.m in the night and images keep on flowing i, I am i can promise everybody that tomorrow you are going to see big big celebration on ground zero that you did not even see today yes um I also want to take the time for honor all who are refugees them because they also pay a great price for the decision for them for stand for Ambazonia. They don't become refugees. So no matter where you day as an Ambazonian, as an as a displaced an Ambazonia, and you de seek shelter, you de seek protection, you de seek safety for another country, especially the one with the for, the day for Nigeria. One wanna know say they say when I for be for Nigeria. Um, now, actually, a gift say when I be alive, when I be run, when I be for Nigeria, we know say not easy at the price of freedom. We all with the pay them, and so the collective suffering of all our people, then it don't add for push all we for motivate all we for push you for the place where today we feel still stand, even with all the pressure we there for ground, even with all the troops there with the colonial state, they don't pump and for Ambazonia, the Ambazonian people they chop fire for honor on our sacrifices, for honor on our suffering. So any place where you day, this day when you see the forces them on the ground, they did stand up for inside city, for inside town, for inside villages. They did demonstrate that strength now for honor your own sacrifices, for honor your suffering, and for honor your own contribution with the contributor for make sure say Ambazonia they get a free homeland. We thank on plenty for any place on a day Una ho, una hat, homeland, or we go go homeland very soon. Wow. And you know, for, for many, many years, every 1st of October, it don't always be here we the time for hoist flag them for Ambazonia. In a time when the assimilation was in, in full gear, the Francophonization, the, 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 the cultural genocide was going on. You had people like uh, uh, Tiger, Tiger in, uh, in Bamenda, you have somebody like my mentor Shea Kavi, Ebenezer Kwanga, and a lot of youths during those periods were hoisting our flag every 1st of October and there will be arrests, the Cameroon government will be in panic and we did not really know what was going on because we were post-colonial millennial generation that knew little about our, our, our history but then we could see that we, we were missing something, there was something lacking, we did not really feel belonging and today we see in Boya, in the capital of Southern Cameroon, the capital of Ambazonia, they wake up with somebody that hoist flock for inside middle field for Victoria. All roads are, everybody is at home. There was nothing like uh, anybody uh, on the street in, in, in Victoria and in area that the Cameroon military have been dominating to make sure that they suppress our people from expressing themselves. Today, everybody can feel that something special is happening. The spirit of Ambazonia is hovering around our territory and everybody in areas that are liberated, you can see the free spirit, people expressing themselves, singing, hail, hail this land of glory. We, the Ambazonians, we pledge our loyalty and uh, our flags are rising up, are rising up to never be folded again. I don't know, Mr. Uh, Press Secretary, if you want us to start ruling some of those pictures while we have this yeah, conversation well, now, with before, you. Be, um, the uh, the leader for our war of independence, Dr. Ebacho, today we see a picture with the circulate for for online for social media, a beautiful picture of uh, plenty of pictures them um, of Ambazonian them with uh, the Ambazonian Ashwabi where they don't design them for inspire our people them for spread the Ambazonianness with they for all we for all over the world. I want to see a picture of Dr. Larry Ayamba, our forefather in Peking. Uh, Pa Dr. Pa uh, Larry Ayamba, Pa Dr. Ayamba. Ayamba. I picking, when I see picking, Dr. I named to na, I named Larry Ayamba. You know, when I see a beautiful picture where it where Ambazonia should be, with the two picking them for proclaim Ambazonianness. And the leader used that picture for send and for all we because this one are uh, an intergenerational fight. He put a message for outside today where he talks. They say he is send Happy Independence Day for all Ambazonian them. No matter place where they did for this world. I need to talk, say, it thank all Ambazonia them for the big and strong heart where they get them. 
and for everything where they do them and for their power where they don't put them say ambazonia must be a free homeland he talks say it is sent happy independence day for the vice president of governing council of ambazonia dr dr julius knee and all the executive the members them for the executive team for governing council of ambazonia he also talks say it is sent happy independence day to Seseko Ayoktabe Julius, the leader of the IG group, with the executive team, we all them the day for Kondongi. It is send them Happy Independence Day. The leader also sent Happy Independence Day for Jomba Akoro, the leader of the consortium group and the executive team. And then he also sent Happy Independence Day to Mr. Bo Herbert and the people them for Morris. The leader also sent Happy Independence Day to Dr. Ebenezer Akwanga leader of the APLM and his own executive team and he descend happy independence day for all our brothers our sister them and our mommy them we know money the year about them but now then they do the biggest work for this liberation struggle for give our people them a quality of life where they deserve them the leader also sent happy independence day to the people them for to colonel uh, colonel colonel vela major general vela and the people them for the mandela group to Mark Barretta and the, uh, and the people them for the activist platform. And then with all the other ones, the way they do the lobbying, where they open all the doors them, all the people, the way they open all the doors them for diplomacy. And then it talks, they say, it is salute all our brief generals them on the ground, all the commanders them, all the forces them. It talks, they say, for all the people them, where they don't speak for Ambazonia, where Ambazonia not be fit for speak for itself, it thank everybody. The leader talks say he go the address the Ambazonian people them for deliver the independent independence day speech the independence address it will be na tomorrow we go be na second of October for seven p.m. Ambazonia time for ACN that one the message will come out from the leader of our war of independence go ahead DDC yeah I think that was a very powerful message reach reaching out to everybody dr chu ayaba the president of the ambazonia governing council who is the most i think is, is the leader of our war of liberation the most influential group the governing council uh, now people have to know the governing council is an institution the motto of the governing council is justice peace democracy and we also we, we see that that spirit coming from our leader dr chu ayaba greeting everybody every leader it's a wonderful day for us to celebrate. He already captured that spirit very well, and, and we are looking forward to his speech. We also want to acknowledge that there are other many movements that are speaking on behalf of Ambazonia, and uh, we also greet them. We recognize the speech, uh, the speech of uh, of Comrade Yerima, who is also representing Seseko Ayukabi out there. He have a fantastic, fantastic speech, and the wonderful speech from Ground Zero, our leaders on the ground, the soldiers. I I, I listened to this. this the speech of uh, Captain Smopikin, the leader of FACO in the ADF, a very powerful speech, and also the guys in uh, the Buffaloes, the, the the Twitter, the Twitter from uh, Arake's group, and everybody is in the spirit of uh, of celebratory. We 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 of the governing council, we are democratic people. We recognize the right of every individual and the contribution of every individual that is making towards our liberation. And we follow the spirit of Dr. Cho Ayaba to wish everybody happy Independence Day. Happy Independence Day, happy Independence. my fellow Ambazonians. And for all our mommy them, no matter place we on a day today, when I say today, it almost be like another Christmas. So today, our own national Christmas. And we know, say, you know, the city of Boya, with all the thousands of troops where they put them, Ambazonia, the day inside their house, they they celebrate their Independence Day. The forces they take over territories. They celebrate their Independence Day. School picking the march. So for across the territory, especially for liberated areas, it will be a, a wonderful. How they call them? Um, um it been a wonderland for for liberated yeah, territories. I, I I hope the the technical team could run some of those image. Let people see the difference in area where you have Cameroon military like in urban areas in, in in victoria and in boya everybody was at home to show them that there is something 
wrong in those areas where you have Cameroon military. People are terrorized. They cannot feel free to express themselves publicly. It was automatic. But in areas where, it, where we have control by Ambazonian forces, everybody was outside. There is life going on. There is freedom. There is freedom. There is freedom of free away from fear. Even with the, the, the risk that this Cameroon terrorists can, can come in like we have seen in Nyareba. Three of our three of our guys were in a, in, a, uh, in a control post. You guys know Nyareba is one of the frontier in liberated areas that we have carved out for ourselves. Ambazonian defense forces we control a big a big chunk of our space that cover over three states. In Nyereba, it was attacked this morning. We we successfully repaired the attack, but we lost three fine men on this particular day. And uh, we are not in the spirit of mourning yet, but we want to recognize that sacrifice that they made for our people to celebrate this day and to tell our people that in liberated areas, you can see life, you can see education, you can see dancing, you can see this freedom, the spirit of freedom with our people. So, and I don't know, I will also take this opportunity to tell everybody who watches ACN on the ground, congratulations, and my, my people of uh, the No Coding Talk people, you people are the most <laughs> smartest group of people in Ambazonia. <laughs> I tell you, you are one of the most smartest people and your validity will come. Your validation will come. The truth always prevail, like we say. And uh, this is a wonderful day. Mr. P.S., uh, should we go, We should we start now focusing on the the images that are being shown on, on our screen? Yeah, there, so was, uh, there was an image. There was an image that came from, 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 one, from the, newly, uh, the new border post. Oh, yes, the, yes, yes. Let's, let's the, go to that. Uh, <laughs> There is a surprising image that has uh, that has shocked La Republic, that has uh, caused people's people people to uh, uh, to to tremble a little bit. People got confused. Uh, people got excited. They got very fearful. Some people were asking, "What is this? Is this coming from like from out of space? Is this is this real? Is this real?" You know, some people some people wanted to touch like. Like, like to go beyond their phone and, and actually touch the physical. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's like you want the, I think the, the technical team should put the video, the picture of our, of our vehicles, our patrol vehicles that were in the border between Biafra and Ambazonia so that the viewers can see. <laughs> and this remind me of, I would, I'll be talking to our language. Do you want to remind me of the video footages in the beginning of this struggle when the ADF launched self defense and the, the uh, Dr. Chuayaba? invoke the right of uh, self-defense in daddy when those images came out i tell you my brother i was not it was unbelievable unbelievable to me i look at those videos i say where is this guy with the courage with the terrorism in cameroon dr cho ayaba went to ground zero in daddy and invoked the right of self-defense launching the adf and its mission that video was shocking to everybody and today the ambazonia people we are now showing them for the first time <laughs> images of what their command so have been busy doing we have opened four five i think it's five different frontier fr frontier with um with uh, biafra paving road that means we have dock road just like the germans did when they came to ambazonia with our bare hands we have dig new roads five of them connecting ambazonia and biafra we are redefining our border we are now programming our connection with the international community building our own route directing our economy according to our own strategic plan for our national security and independence from Cameroon in terms of economic and in terms of security wise. So these are the images coming. We congratulate the Ambazonia Defense Forces. They are always one step ahead. This vehicle shows that the ADF, you can see the technology of communication. Our forces are now more advanced than they were before. So this is what the ADF have been busy doing on the ground creating new avenue to export our cocoa through Niger through, through Biafra, new avenue to explore to export timber and uh, other things that we, we they are still classified due to the nature of uh, our liberation that Cameroon military is still terrorizing and trying to interrupt economic activity in our land. So Mr. PS, you want to have Yes, so well, did you see so when this uh, when this image come, you know the first thing we come to my mind now wow so when um, a lot of the naysayers, people who did not believe for themselves, people who get uh, inferiority complex without a vision, without anything, when the naysayers, they be very busy for Facebook, the general, 
they be very quiet with all the troops they be very quiet for do the hard work do the hard work for the ambazonian people them and so what you want see um just like when dr eba go for that dias ddc be talk um all man be talk say this one it not be real it not be true not be uh daddy not the for ambazonia and uh, daddy you know immediately people they change the name they talk say daddy now not the for ambazonia again that means they, they literally for their own imagination they move they change the map of ambazonia they tag they take that they go put them for inside uh, inside nigeria for their imagination so when reality hit them say a man of vision talk can change wait till we see him because we go build the state not through hard work we no go build the state for empty talk we no go build the state with propaganda we no go build the state with laziness we no go build the state with fake promises we go build the state not through sweat through hard work through intelligence through sacrifice as a people yeah, we start cannot sit nothing. down yeah we cannot yeah. just sit down and imagine that things will be happening we'll just wait for so, things to happen so wait you want to see and for him for on front now they have in the implementation of the vision with the leader don't lay them out for the people them the general effort and all the top generals of adf they be very focused for the implementation of the roadmap they be very focused for do the things and where they will give we power on the ground and that control we miss it because the leader talks say independence is independence wait till not the same not just the beginning this because this oneself not just one of which you go see him because the exactly. power we there for ground with general effort with the egg of seed don't build and put them for down for the ambazonian people them the videos are never even come off as i said <laughs> i tell you and, and ambazonia should also be reassured that across the border in the biafra side you have a population of 65 million biafran on the no, other it's, side it's, it's, now it's between 65 and 82 million <laughs> And it's two million people far double the cameroon population if we were afraid of cameroon because we think there are so many and we look like two <laughs> cubes of sugar in, in their eyes now we have an ally to close to 80 million biafrans across the border who are aligning with us and strategically we are telling the international community that exploitation of even biafran resources the niger delta the whole gulf of guinea will not be guaranteed if our rights are not recognized we will not sit there and watch nigeria and cameroon two rook states exploit our resources while subjugating our people depriving them from the resources that god has given them we are going to make sure with our, our allies of the eastern security so border and so that are open and, and so <laughs> and so that truck the truck you guys are seeing uh it's a truck that is stationed in one of the new outposts. It's a new border post that the Ambazonia Defense Forces, our forces and the, the Ambazonian people, the communities within those areas, they have actually created a new road. Just like when the, German, the, the, the Germans uh, they came to Ambazonia, you know, everything was done by hands. So our people have created a new road. They've created a new border post. On the other side is the Biafra, and on 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 on, um, on one side is the Amazonians. That truck is actually on the Amazonian side of the crossing point, the but the new border point in which we have full control, total control, in liberated areas. The videos. <laughs> this is the sovereignty. Bring the videos of our people doing that road. I think the technical team. To show yeah, I think the technical team can help us to, uh, to to bring one of the videos where our people were, were uh, uh, our, peop our people were busy creating one of uh, one of the roads. And you know, uh, if you look all over the world, black people have constructed the world. They build the Washington D.C. They they build the, the Paris, and uh, we always ask ourselves, why can't we build our own home? So we are now seeing that it takes ingenuity, it takes vision to motivate people to do and to do what is what has to be done for us to develop we are now developing ambazonia 
constructing Ambazonia, not that fake reconstruction from La Republic that they want to come and reconstruct roads that were not constructed. So these are images of us mobilizing on the road to open the border in our own design. So people can see how we can mobilize our people. We are an organized people and we have that leadership to do just that. And uh, with, without much, if you want to say something else, we will go down straight to the to the video footages of uh, the celebration of our national day, so that people can get in that spirit of celebratory, which I'm what up you see? in I am, right I, now. I, I am just I, I am I am extremely I'm extremely proud of the hard work that General Evan is doing on the ground, doing the work without any noise, and let the results speak for themselves let the fruits the end product speak for itself it's leadership and we're very proud of what he's doing on the ground we're very proud of his focus and steadiness and his determination to bring uh, forces together to build partnerships on the ground to create new opportunities for the ambazonian people for example, the new border point, Ambazonia can be crossing that border. There will be no bribe. You don't have to bribe anybody to go through that border point, you know. You don't have to bribe the colonial forces. You don't have to bribe anybody, you know. When you're going, when you're coming from the Biafra side, coming into Ambazonia, you don't have to bribe anybody, you know, because we and the Biafra people, we see ourselves as one. And we create, we've created those opportunities for our people to advance and be able to facilitate trade between the two peoples and be able to facilitate commerce, easy access, easy movement of our people to make life a lot more easier and for our people to prosper. So this is just the beginning. <laughs> yeah, I want to I'll bring the video of the, for, before we get into the, the, the celebration of this uh, 60th anniversary for our National Day, our Independence Day, let us watch the video for people to remind themselves of how our people are treating Cameroon authorities, the occupation forces, and the administrator. Every time they come to install this, their so-called deal, they install, reinstall, and they, they keep on running away, going back because they have been rejected by our people. So let's have this video clip to before we get inside so that it reminds you how Kama Ambazonia have rejected Cameroon rule, rejected Cameroon occupation, and even when they come to install these, their colonial officers, which we have kicked out from our territory, from over 80% of our territory. Nobody is around there to, to, to even watch what they are doing. They have been rejected completely. So let us watch this video clip coming up. It's an old video of, uh, I think, about six months ago. It will show our people mm -hmm. how our people treat the colonial administration worse than we treated the white people. So this is an example of, uh, of Cameroon. <laughs> Cameroon <laughs> present in Ambazonia. It has been reduced to a, a, a bunch of clowns that have bunkered themselves down in a, in a small compound and they have painted those compounds with their colonial uh, flag, green, red, yellow, which is a flag of, which is a symbol of oppression to our people. When they come, you can see them staging propaganda video. Nobody is there to support them. The community have left them. The demography have shifted. Once blind people of Ambazonia have opened their eye to their history and embraced their identity, the colonial officials, as you can see, they are an alien force, alien presence. They don't have the support of the community. They don't have the support of the population. You would imagine that an army as large as the army of La Republic will have enough security for anybody who really supports them to come around. But you don't see people coming around. So we will move from even, here and then, yeah, go ahead. Even the colonial elites, even the colonial elites that they pay the millions, then they were not there to cheer for them. So they, they, they the Cameroon colonial army have become, you know, they are like clowns. All right. Yeah. They are like <laughs> clowns in a in a jungle. Okay. They look, look, they all know where they are. They all know that if you look at the environment, it's totally isolated. There is no one there. They are just by themselves. Okay. So this is one of the most ridiculous things that we are seeing in modern history. Okay. They look Cameroon like caricatures in a in a farm. <laughs> yeah, they should accept the reality. Ambazonians, the Southern Cameroon that was forced to vote for the plebiscite, have reversed that decision which was forced upon them. We don't want Cameroon anymore. 
Can't you get it, guys? Gendarmeries, look at yourself. You are all by yourself. Nobody is there to watch you, even out of curiosity. They always say in Amazonia, even if you say that there is fire somewhere, people will be running towards <laughs> that fire to see. But the absence of our people during this propaganda ceremony of La Republic in storing deals of, <laughs> of themselves, nobody is there, should send a clear message to La Republic du Cameroon. Ambazonia don't want you anymore. You are a foreign and alien army in our territory. You are an army of occupation. Your character and the conduct of your troops are that of terrorism. And the international community, the African Union, should recognize this reality that nobody in Ambazonia wants the presence of La Republic du Cameroon or their flags. So, so we did you see this is this that's that's the rea that's the reality that's the defeat okay there is no other description of what is called defeat when we say cameron is defeated it's real it's not metaphorical it's not in language it's not a manipulation of language it's physical that's what it is it's real it's real <laughs> and even their educational system initially when this this struggle started by the the common law lawyers demanding for a change of the form of state to federalism or we are going to quit you, we saw that dictator paul Bia choose the war option the brutal option the language that they know these are turks these are not people that are civilized these are a bunch of colonial apologists who work hand in hand with the french government to crush the independence movement of french cameroon so what you see in Cameroon, the state of Cameroon today is a clone of the French colonial system that have taken hold of their country. They don't know how to negotiate. They are not gentlemen. They don't respect the United Nations plebiscite that was approved by the General Assembly, even though it was against our right as a, as a trusteeship, which is supposed to have independence unconditionally. Yet they voted against the plebiscite in the United Nations and this regime of Pobia are trying to do everything to destroy us. So when we started this struggle, we, we decided to boycott schools. And that was when we were demanding for federalism with the common law lawyers. And then you had the Abobalas came up with their consortium and stuff like that. But when the Skakuf says we are now going for full independence and separation from La Republic to Cameroon, we, we said that the school boycott is permanent. All Cameroon government school in Ambazonia is banned. And today we can now show our people that we did not just say education. We were, we were not just against education, but we were for Ambazonian education. We, the people, educating our own children, creating school for our own states. And we can see the, the result today of the governing council implementing those things on the ground. And 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 this is this is the this is the the extraordinary importance of having a vision. To be against something, it's one thing. But once you're against something, the next step has to be, what do I want to create as a replacement of what is it that I'm against? I'm against. Our people have rejected Cameroon colonial schools. The governing council, through its creative vision, came to the understanding that we must create alternative institutions to give the Ambazonian people that independence that they want. Because the world will not allow the Ambazonian people to say we are against the <laughs> colonial educational system without, being, without the ingenuity to create empowering alternative. So through effective leadership and a plan, we are replacing all Cameroon colonial institutions to give the Ambazonian people ownership of their lives, to give the Ambazonian people ownership of their destiny. When we're talking about destiny, it's educational destiny, judicial destiny, economic destiny, cultural destiny, all right, social destiny. These are things that the governing council of Ambazonia is working towards because if we are not very careful we can win the liberation by defeat through the defeat of cameroon and lost the independence 
Yeah. We can yeah. we can win the liberation <laughs> and lose the independence if we don't put in the infrastructure in place. If we don't start to put in replacement institutions, uh, indigenous institutions that that Ambazonians have full control. Our people have been deprived. The education that the colonial education that our people have, you know, been they have been subjected through was designed in France. It has no specific use for Ambazonians other than to keep the Ambazonian youth in concentration camps so that they are not on the street protesting and fighting the occupier. All right? Schools without substance, education without value. So what we are seeing today is the emergence of a new state. We are building the fabric of what Ambazonia is going to be like. Ambazonian for Ambazonians by Ambazonians. These community schools are essential to prove to the international system that we mean business. We are not agitating. We've taken back Ambazonia and we, we have begun the process of putting the building blocks in place. And the Ambazonian children are the future of this great nation. We do not want to have a generation of uneducated people. Most of our children have been out of school for the last four or five years. It's time for them to catch up. And in all liberated territories, the governing council and the leadership through the defense forces, especially the general on the ground, and through the community leaders, they are setting up transition authorities across the territory to give the community full control of community institutions, community education, community schools, community healthcare systems. The governing council is working now to create community justice systems to give the Ambazonian people a taste of the freedom they have been deprived for the last 60 years. This is extraordinary. Please, let's have some of those videos of our community schools, of our children, of children in liberated territories where you can see the joy of being a child, the joy of a child living in a free community where, where they know and they feel in their soul that they are no longer under suppression. Their yeah, soul that was suppressed that, now in a life. Yeah. yeah you, are, you are exactly right. Our people, if you look at the schools and you, you can see that the people feel they own the education. And uh, the technical team is taking us. The community have rejected all those colonial divide and rule tendency and they are there 100 percent with our forces on the ground did you see you know you know even live you know even live and enjoy the music dance more sir <laughs> <laughs> i tell you so i want to salute all ambazonian bororo community all ambazonian now I'm Bororo, now I'm now I'm Bororo, now I'm Bororo sister than that, and uh, we are fine fine Bororo communities there. See they are fine fine dance. Soldier they even join self for the dance. <laughs> I tell you, so it's joy, joy, joy in ground zero. The Ambazonian flag high, our nationalism, our identity, we own it. You can see our people how they are joyful celebrating this independent day in full gear this is joy you know and you can see a, a, a contrast this week when the cpgm or politic members they come around with their money in armored cars the population comes around they are afraid of the military they are watching them like uh, some alien but here you can see our people they, you don't see them even looking on the coast like some strangers come from elsewhere speaking a strange french language but they are part of the community these are our people 
being who they are, the citizens of Ambazonia, dancing and enjoying life. The whole African Union, the whole Western world should watch this image and see the need to invoke the right neck to live their life normally, free from Cameroon ter terrorism and freedom. So we, maybe we go down to the education side and we see videos from education. Our Marching. Oh, the second year of education is school. So these are people who have gone second year in our educational system, community schools. This shows that we are independent. Educational wise, we are independent. I would call on all communities the way they normally open their they make the contact the governing council, meet and try to set up the structure them for them, bring in our curriculum, and we want to thank in particularly the community for Ambang Village. That the first village we publicly then call the colonial press, then come for the, the chief of Ambang, the whole village council publicly then vote. We say me they open their own community school indigenous ideas we are educating yes. our people you see in, in america the, the jewish people they succeed in life the white people succeed because they educate their children they homeschool their own children they don't allow some foreign curriculum imposed on children that they, they don't feel like this education is for us so today we are very very happy to see the images coming out from the, the wonderful job the governing council have been relents. They don't, they don't work very hard to make sure, say, make our Peking and get their education. We are taking responsibility, ownership of what we are, of our destiny. So, for all Papa and Mamma Midian, we are the Peking and friends. And you see how organized our people are. And we, you, our people, this takes us back to our history, what the Southern Cameroon was right before we, we even become independent. From the time we, we had uh, self-governance, the people of Southern Cameroon, we used to have on the 22nd of February, what they call Thinking Day. Can you imagine they had a day called Thinking Day that was instituted by one of the wives of the, the British commissioner of uh, Southern Cameroon, they call her uh, Lady Benda Powers. They had this day where you have go girls' guides, they come out to, to, to celebrate, the boys' brigade, they come out to celebrate. And the Southern Cameroon also, we used to have what they call the Commonwealth Youth Day, where you have uh, the, the boys' brigades, the scouts, the, the Red Cross, and those institutions when we were growing up joining the scout or the red cross or the, all of these organizations was very important in the life of a young man to give you the sense of responsibility in your community these are the things that makes us special wearing uniforms can you imagine across the border in cameroon across the mongo cameroon schools did not put on uniform they were just put in, in this colonial system of the french which is meant just to keep them like workers, people cannot complain, they are not organized. But we had uniforms right from the time we were it still a trusteeship no territory to the time our territory become autonomous, a quasi, uh, we had a quasi constitution under the Nigerian during that period. So all these things were going on. I think you have to say something before I will go on how our school have evolved to what we have today. Um, I want to just talk for all mommy that they watch and for all papa that they watch today on Independence Day, we we'll definitely for celebrate and for inspire our people them for see all these things they want to see young. We get thousands of thousands of thousands of thousands of Ambazonian picking them. What they did for the they go that they attend community schools and the school fees for community schools they be very cheap because they are community schools. No school, no they way any picking. It pay up to five thousand amber for school fee. 
No school, I you, fine. And even picking the way they no get money to go. Yes, so there is no school. None of these community school, they, none of these community school them. We are an Ambazonia because the education for community school are free in the first place. So right now, because this community school that they start, they the only pay a very small money. I think say na maybe na one thousand five hundred amba, if I not be mistaken. Only one thousand five hundred amba for the whole year. Because na community school, so mami them, it be for na own greatest advantage. For move when I begin them from all Cameroon colonial schools, where the first thing I say you got for go bribe, and then you got for go pay plenty money. For Ambazonia community school, they begin that they go school na free. Even if they pay, they only pay maybe na just small PTA money, maybe na one thousand five hundred for the whole year. Most of these speaking they when I see them, their uniform, it be provided by the governing council of Ambazonia. Free. I want just Does because we we'll get this conversation. That means say na the na the na the the governing council of Ambazonia will take the responsibility for educate the Ambazonia picking them. All that uniform them for all these thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of picking them. Now money we Ambazonia they did donate them for the governing council of Ambazonia for open this community school them. Now that money they did take them for buy all this uniform them for give we picking them for start. The culture of community school for start the culture of the state it will take responsibility for educate it picking them for start the responsibility then now we will get the responsibility for care for our picking them so the governing council of ambazonia and especially the 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 education board and the human rights department they understand say na war time most of these picking them their papa they don't die their mommy they don't kill them they pick, most of these picking them na often so the governing council of ambazonia they make me be very easy for these picking them for go school that's why they, they provide all these things them they make the condition may be very easy sometimes it be maybe once in a month for some of these school them they go send money make the teacher they even cook chop they bring them for school for giving for all school picking them or now ambazonia them where they did donate their money for for governing council of ambazonia now then they fund these projects and then they fund these things then. so the governing council of ambazonia it did for a process for work with unicef for work with all the united nations agencies where they be responsible for education and the health of picking them for adopt the ambazonia education board curriculum where they don't design and who are picking them for approve them make it be internationalized so that all the ambassador people that they go to school now whether you go to nursery school whether you go to elementary school or you go to secondary school your certificate where you go get them it will be recognized internationally so one call on all community leaders all quarter heads all village head them this nation will be for all we and, and, and I think say, them. yeah, go yeah. ahead. Denise. I think say, the the very important way people understand say, contrary to Cameroon uh, propaganda, where they always talk say, oh, you know, the diaspora people they sit there in the diaspora, they don't know what is going on on Ground Zero. There, I think we know exactly <laughs> what is going on in Ground Zero, and our people can see how the leadership in the diaspora. Uh, let the technical team continue to roll those videos in uh, in Banten. They can see how the leadership is in 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 control of the ground they can see how the leader the vision of our leader is is being implemented on the ground the theme and uh, you can see the video coming from banten there in the great state of wheat you can see the theme of this year is cameroon is defeated leave leave now you can see on the stadium there the, the parents are there the quarter heads are there everybody in the community is there to to see these children perform and uh, this shows that the leadership that is forced to be in the diaspora because of the security situation are fully in charge the vision is fully implemented you can see on the ground the stadium is well decorated contrary to what propaganda cameroon is making that you guys sit in the diaspora you are fighting for yourself you are eating money this is where we keep the money that we contribute in the tto this is where dr cho ayaba keeps the money where the governing council uh, collects to invest in our future to invest like the the ps have said 
in the education of our people, provide food for, for, for lunch break, sometimes free food for our children. If we can do so much with so little, without being able to collect tax from our natural resources, without being able to use money, for, imagine what Ambazonia can be as we celebrate in Ground Zero this 60th anniversary. You can see the vision of the governing council. The vision of the governing council, our motto is justice, peace, democracy. Democracy means that you empower the people. The choices we make in the governing council is as a consensus from our people on the ground, our leadership on the ground, our community on the ground. And we are building a community system, a prototype of a, of a governance system interim called the... the, the the, the transition authority the transitional transition authority, authority. That in, yeah that involves our traditional rulers our quarter heads the military and everybody is there into it this is building a nation from scratch and our people have to know that these values are very important you see the decoration i don't know if you permit me a little bit to to give dive a little bit into the history of what our people are saying uh, uh ddc let me just let me just add something to what you are saying the system we are building, um, Matoko Pigeon, the system we will build them now from the bottom. The power, the new Ambazonia power the commoner from the bottom. Power need to come out from the top and then they push and down for the people. Then. Consultation they start from the community for find out which the community they want them, bring the community together. Make the decide how it will be. What goal now for find the resources for empower the community for do the things and where they fit their specific needs. And the way we, it, will, it, will, it will be better served the people then. So the new Ambazonian state power the come out now from the people. Power need come out from the leader. The power know will come out from Ambazonian prime minister. You know will come out from the parliament. The power the come out from the people. So for we, we practice witty, we practice the values of the new state we want to build them. It will be total consultation. They did, even before they want to build a community school, they did consult the people then. They did look at the risk, if any risk, it will be for that picking them. If risk there, then they will talk, say, okay, may they find a way, may they pick the, 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 the study for house. If risk not there, once they know it's in a liberated area where they begin to be very safe, they find better teachers and with the love for teach picking them. So now the eighteen that one just add and for which they talk. Yeah, and if you don't mind, make leave and make if 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 you don't mind, make leave and make they play that music. When I turn up the volume, make make they see what picking them for community schools. And you know this is our heritage. This is the heritage we had in in uh, southern Cameroon when we were we were still in Nigeria. Still, we, we used to. I don't know if there's some quality in the okay, voice. So our culture did not be shaped. We don't gain a lot from even our the Anglo-Saxon system from the time of Afreseka. We don't see they don't come we help with for shape and organize our community. We don't embrace and develop with our own uh, cultural identity and our own cultural contribution. And our people they need to understand say Southern Cameroon now our tradition for the celebrate like this, La like Republic of Cameroon they no be ever the white wear uniform including their nurse. The celebration like this, this big day we will be celebrating today, our Independence Day, where La Republic began to try to twist and for make 20th May and 11 February, these fake days them. Make one know say La Republic they not be ever get things like Youth Day. Southern Cameroon will be get two big day them will be the celebrating for Southern Cameroon. One be be na the Empire Day, where we'll be starting since 1949. That way British people them they be get southern Cameroon like a trusteeship territory, a separate territory on its own. Every day for 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 it be on the 
I'll try to get a specific day. They get a specific. Did he talk about? Did he talk about? Did he talk about? Did he talk about the Empire Day? <laughs> yes, Empire Day. We used to celebrate the Empire Day, where it brings everybody together. The the military, the civilian, they will come together. They will celebrate. Then the the leader of the country will address the people. It used to be the 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 leader, the commissioner of the British commissioner station in in southern Cameroon. And La Republic, they never had things like that because they were just being exploited by the French people through direct rule. They were calling this assimilation. So, but we used to have the Empire Day. And then when we became more, we become self-governed, we, we now had the Southern Cameroon National Day. You have to understand this, people of Southern Cameroon. From 1954, when we, we, we became a quasi region of the eastern state of Nigeria, we became a quasi region that means we become uh, a, a semi independent we become self governed self governance under endele we had a national day which was on the 26th of october the first one was celebrated by endele instituted by endele in 1954 where all the students will come and do march pass the police will do march pass and then the prime minister will address the population that day signifies the day that the nigerian constitution granted us a quasi region that region constituted two provinces one province was in a, a capital was in bamenda another province the capital was in boya bamenda never had a, a commissioner because the british people were afraid because of, of the population in bamenda that if they empower bamenda too much we are going to be too <laughs> strong so they had already started manipulating sometimes people think that to separate us into two states was was just wrong no 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 it started right from the time of the British, when the Constitution of Nigeria was passed in 1954. It gives all, it divided us into two provinces. One was a, a, the capital in Bamenda, one was the capital in Boya. But the capital in Bamenda was never instituted; they never appointed a commissioner. But the focus in Boya because Boya was too attached to 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 Nigeria. There, were, there was a, a very strong hope for the British people to keep us at bay. So we we used to celebrate National Day on the 26th of October. And we used to celebrate Empire Day. This day, you had the, the, the military and the civilian who come together and celebrate. Then we used to have on the 22nd of February, Thinking Day, where all the youth, it was a youth day only for youth. But you have Empire Day and National Day where you have the military and the government will celebrate. But when we joined, when we were forced and the constitution of La Republic was Force upon us, our people have people of Ganzero, and I need to know this one. The plebiscite where it will be a violation of our rights to be independent. Even though La Republic be vote against the plebiscite, they were against the plebiscite in the United Nations, so they did not implement it. They forced their federal constitution upon us. So from 1961, Southern Cameroon, they now imposed the name of West Cameroon Federate State. We became West Cameroon Federate State. But still in 1961, we were still celebrating our National Day. We celebrated National Day on the 26th of October, 1961, as West Cameroon Federal State. But during that period, Amadou Aijo was not happy. So Amadou Aijo talked to Jongu Foncha, and Foncha started to change his voice and now say that, uh, we, uh, the, the, the October day, the, the, 20, the 26th of October should be celebrate should not be celebrated anymore like a national day. You know, we, we have to, to, to try to change it. So Foncha already started to talk about it publicly. Then now the, he could not really go ahead to implement it. So what happened is that the SDO of Bamenda, he's called Josh uh, Kisop. He's the one who made it now law in uh, 1962 that uh, a uh, a national day of West Cameroon will not be celebrated anymore. They will now change it to the day of plebiscite. So plebiscite was still a national day, but they say they, they are going to, because there was a youth day, thinking day in 22 February, they are going to make it a youth day. There will be no national guard of honor. There will be no speech from the prime minister. This decision was taken by the, by the SDO of Bamenda. At that time <laughs> so they were taking it step by step so in 1962 we did not celebrate national day again they celebrated now 
like a, a national day with, with a youth connotation without the military. Then in 1963, they now take it a step further. You now had the Secretary of State for Education and Social Welfare, Honorable Ndamukong. I think everybody knows L.M. Ndamukong very well. He's a very famous family in Bamenda there. He was now who changed the 20, that 26 October into a youth day, 11 February. It was now a decision made by the Secretary of State. So in 1963, they now were celebrating 11 February only in West Cameroon. It was not celebrated in La Republic. So 11 February now was made a, a youth day and our national day was cancelled. The first time was celebrated as a youth day, 11 February, was only in, 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 in uh, West Cameroon in 1963 then it, it it became like that 1964 and then in 1966 amadou aijo still did not like it so he's, he now implemented the same thing in la republic so that the two would mix and uh, the youth day will be sealed and our national identity will, will be will be will be neutralized this culture now was imported into the la republic that every 11 february they will be celebrating a, a youth day and southern cameroon national day was abolished that is how the manif the manipulation started and then paul Bia came his own now and added 20 may so all man for ground zero may wanna know say this thing say march pass now a southern cameroon culture no be a culture of a frenchman now i think we will be done the practice and before one gain independence and we'll go back for that our practice you see our soldiers that they come stand guard you see our leader that they address our people our youth that they stand up for preach for, for for make speech now our tradition this will go back for would if this is the real southern cameroon independence as we know it uh and so um i want to tell what people say this war will be fight for end cameroon presence and the suffer with the over put on for our people then it be based on a plan all we to the see today where people get the ability for go out and celebrate a part of that plan, and I don't help we will get so far. And so the plan on the ground, not only for kill, for, for go fight and attack the Republic Army, police and gendarme, the plan now for make sure say, yes, it be important to we'll push them out. But the second most important thing, now say we we'll build a power we give our forces them the ability to say the kick Cameroon out, the secure that area for our people them, and Cameroon will ever fit for come back day. For place we day, we actually don't fall back. We did behind three years. For 2018, the state of Manu, Meme, Fako, all we don't be liberated. All. Okala be like, we don't run this thing for Douala. Most states from Bazonia, they don't be liberated. So for places we will be there now, compared to what will be there for 2018, we actually they far back. Some errors, the day where people they don't make them for this world liberation, we, we know they talk about those things today. We they don't take it back. But we don't revive that plan. That's why the governing council of Ambazuna they take a different approach than any other thing we any other people that they do. We we respect the one the way that they just they kill fight semi the kill a republic to come on. We respect that. And the ADF it did do that one. Because if they not be the doom, they not be the push the republic out first. They're not for fit for secure all these territories. So we're gonna a three-step approach. Offensive action for push the Republic to Cameroon Police Army and Janam out. The second one for we for turn that place into a liberated territory. And that one they give you the power for build force, for build power. Will the Republic will come back for the so that we stabilize that area where people the feast for enjoy life. Mami the feast for go for farm. We mami no go fear say if he go farm, they will kill it for farm. Mami no the fear say. If you come up for a house or night, for go backside, for go use toilet, some person will kill it. Because now so are people that they live now. My men not come up for house for night, 
for go back backside for go use toilet. While people they even if they sleep, you know if you open door, see me go for outside, you go peace. Most yeah, of our I, people they go farm. This okay, Cameroon make terrorism, make watch, like you make watch the match pass. I beg, make what? Yeah, make we, watch we, this we, match, now this we'll match pass for match pass. Me technical team put on the the volume. Our technical I beg, team put on, put on, put on the volume. On volume. So do want a, a big big to go on for inside the liberated areas for when I see the the troops who don't come down the corner and are block by block forces. Then that way, then for that area, when I see our population, they come out. When I put volume, me volume go up. Make our people then see how our people they don't come out. Thousands and thousands of people across Ambazonian area. Commander Ambola, the Supreme General, General Big Number. Now we see what they want to see. And we want to have a super inside. When I see our people, they, they come You know, they be easy. Do one of a poor with the world say, now we probably not get the part for play for inside Ambazonia. Today, the 1st October 2021. Now we see. When I got here one year ago, and I've seen um, the war I'm going to see what will happen inside our country. When I got here one year ago, today the 1st October 2021, 20, you want know, to take place to the commander under General Big Number, Commander Mbola. And I've seen the eye when I see him, it's not going to be easy. When I got here one year ago, today the 1st October 2021, when I tell the eye when I see what will happen in Ambazonia, when I see him, the war me the war see him, not a lot of people, not get a place for inside Ambazonia. If you see him, now this is our mommy, they want to see what is happening inside our country, Ambazonia. I'm the war moon, I see our moon, I hear our crown, I want to see what is happening. Today, the first October 2021, of the commander of Tali, Commander Ambola, the Supreme General, General Big Number. In order to be easy, but now God, you want to get power. Now, if you say, in order to be easy, but now God, now God, now God, you want to get power. Now, tell me, I want to see him. Now, God, you want to get power. Now, God, you want to get power. Now, General Mbola, we have been the general wow, 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 for inside wow, wow, the great state of Manu. You know, be, now, the wonderful work that this week they do one for the era that we don't liberate them. We ride for inside Bermede, all those areas on a busy population, Mami them, Papa them. When I see the big Mami, they work out stick. Big Mami, they struggle for work out stick. Say today, he carry Ambazonia flag for stick. Say, now Independence Day, this, I be Southern Cameroon, I be in Ambazonia. No amount of armored car, no amount of tanks in La Republic can kill the spirit of nationalism in our people just look at the crowd ladies and gentlemen these are your people these are the people who want freedom they want to live with their identity as recognized by international law we are a people we are a state with resolutions in the general assembly to back it up our people are free in these areas we hope that the international communities will not sit behind and watch this genocide if they can protect the right of animals not to be extinct, they should invoke the rights to protect the people who wants to live. They have expressed themselves. They want to live free in their own country to exercise their, their God-given rights to develop their own areas and educate their own people. Go ahead, Mr. Pierce. I beg, when I, when I, when I, roll, when I roll the video for, for, for the forces where they delete this match pass, I beg, when I roll with the video of, uh, of a unit of the special forces where they delete this video. The video where when so I do watch one them, for manual, Man, you will come up now for inside, inside will go for inside metam also. Now for inside the great state of Manu. All right. Of all the places. This thing with our on a city chain cutter. Hey, <laughs> see, 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 supreme. <laughs> supreme. He's on there with his flag. Very humble. He no stand like some man way. He go stand at the front. No, very humble leader on the ground. We have leaders on the ground. These are the real leaders on the ground. <laughs> that people can see uh, implementing so, vision of the <laughs> guy. Uh, shake, shake, ambassador. No, shake, shake, no day. Yeah, even the, the, the celebration go go on to stay. We get juju them traditional dances. Then come up for instant money. Abek, when I when I bring the one with when I bring the one with the tradi with with the nyang with the nyangpe with the nyangpe for my uh, yeah. Uh, 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 come out. This one <laughs> when I bring when I show. I think after this, this, this image, you go, go come up. Me, yes, me, this, this one, one is this show one's all one's the, the <laughs> colonial, uh, the, the, the people that like Django, the way they want to go for village, they, they pay, pay people then with 20, 20,000. <laughs> me, then come out, they don't forget population like this, like this one. So, if big number, General Efang, on the ground, population, they come out like this one, mommy, they <coughs> papa them. Where they come now, they say they buy their own small chop or chop them. 
we need to give them no money for, for hand. Now, but show our people and say, this is the will of the people. This is at their own cost, at an at, at a threat of kill by Cameroon military, but they stand up with their flags, they come out in their numbers to say, Hail Ambazonia, this is my country, this is my identity, Pobia, let my people go. May the volume so, come my up fellow Ambazonians. Volume, 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 then for background, may the technical team put the volume. Me people then put, put the here, volume, put, put the volume, make we hear. So this one, an ADF on the ground, governing council for Ambazonia. Now, even in time, this, I see how our people then did, then see the even for night, then day for day. So to create night, independence, day. people, Ambazonia are fighting because their right of self-determination was refused by the United Nations, a mandated territory in 1919, and a trusted territory under United Nations in 1945 with the outcome of the united nations but under colonial maneuver the united nations make a decision out of the trusteeship council to for them to be an integrated people under the federal republic of nigeria or the Red republic of cameroon people who got their independence since 1960 and today this is a struggle that there is a lot of bloodshed people are dying the world powers have stood of loop the world powers are there looking at it knowing that the colonial maneuver was a wrong decision even at that end chief civil of the cameroon communal uh, uh, communist convention also a tech auction for the people of British South Cameroon, which was refused upon the people. And today, the United Nations have been a roof. The world powers have been a roof. They are seeing people dying, people fighting for their right of self-determination. So we call upon the world, we call upon the United States to protect this independent installation of the Ambazonian people. Thank you. as the commander don't talk on the October 2021 of the this one, the people they call this one, they call this one, they call them. They call this one, 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 off. They call this one, 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 they call this one. This is our people, these are free people. I think we can, we can take, let's go to Mezam. Let's see how the Ambazonia, Bamenda, the capital of resistance. <laughs> Let's see the video from, from Mezam of the Bamenda Brigade that celebrated inside Bamenda. So they stand, they pen the road today with Ambazonia. Yes. Yeah, are your children, the head of armed force, are you They are here. Doing their march pass on the 1st of October 2021. And the message that they are passing out is that all the soldiers, if you are ADF, SOCADEF, all the fighters, you should count as one and fight and fight the enemy and bring the struggle to an end so that each and everyone will go and embrace the family and live together as one. Let my people go. 
This one and the Bamenda Brigade, a unit, just one unit for the Bamenda Brigade. And then this. Soldier at attention! At ease! Soldier at attention! At ease! Soldier at attention! Respect! Heal! Heal! Heal the line of glory! What? Sing! This is the tenacity of hope. As the general himself, General Cobra. Release at East. Oh, we go hear some talk from the general for Mizam. For year with we go talk for we. Because of security reason, our guy they need to cover their face. When I know the ever Hello, danger. Brother, of, is, um, good morning. Good morning. Sawana. Wana. Sawana. Wana. Sagbam. Guam. Sagbam. Guam. Isimini. Isia. Isimini. Isia. Atalaku. Today, the first of October, twenty twenty-one. This one. Now the ADF for Mezam, the People's Army, don't come out today for celebrate our big day. We all we the Ambazonia are going to celebrate them. And for celebrate that big day, we got to go on with the message. We we thank our civilian them for the one day they don't be with. This is in Bamenda, Abakwa. Proud of your boys. This is one of six units. We are see the camp also of, of uh, the unit of Tanka also. They are pent wood. They are videos. I think say hello. To show na inside Bamenda how we celebrate. Bobia, let my people go. Let Ambazonia go. Emmanuel Macron, let Ambazonia go. The city built on the hill shall not be hidden. Let us shine as the light of the world. And these are the values of the government council that this song should be Justice. We do justice to everybody. We do justice so, to everybody. And for all when I don't want to hear about the Bamenda Brigade, when I don't want to hear the invisible Bamenda Brigade, right? If you come up from man, you know what they call and say uh, Ngumina. You know what they call and say Devo, right? The Bamenda Brigade, 
na invisible forces. Today na the first time we Ambazonia they don't <laughs> Ambazonia they don't even come close for <laughs> for see what they call and say the Bamenda Brigade. Now one of the many units them this of the Bamenda Brigade, the Bamenda Brigade they get lots of units where they surround Bamenda. This one na one of them this. Na the na the na the unit this for the we na the say Alabu Kam Alabu Kam Brigade. Now the Alabu Kam Brigade this we na don't see them today. So ADF got about five units with the five brigades. Six, with the six surround units. Bamenda. Bamenda. Sorry, six six brigades. Now you see six and this so live 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 live. For me, oh, under the canopy of uh, Supreme Talk and Do, now you're picking them this. Yes, General, if you see them, do. if you see them, oh, now the jubilation this for their first first October 2021. Now then, this live after the march pass, they be the jubilate with their pa, now their parties. No, 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 Today na the first October 2021. Today na for to wear the seven katas for Bafut to celebrate the national you are not seven independence as well. day for Ambazonia. Well. I think we need to watch the match pass also for Mechum. I call on a terminator of Mechum. But you are not the seven katas, the sister force to the Ambazonia Defense Forces. They did a wonderful parade. Commander Commander Tiger, Commander A4, Lion, as the flag will go the, up, I saw the think, national uh, anthem to go up. I will bring it all with their attention as the national now. anthem they play. That is the land of glory. So, say. That is the land of glory. We are Amazonia, special loyalty. Praise the Son of Savior, who granted us a freedom. So, my fellow Amazonians, now how La Republic ego fit defeat this generation? When I see them from every block, from every district, when I see the power of the Amazonian people, then the power be spread. Now, ADF, then this is so live, 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 everywhere. Life. Do one of the mention brigade. Videos are still streaming in. Videos are still coming. We thank in. the AGF Brigade Menchum as they don't respect their fallen heroes as usual. We thank them plenty. We go for the next step now where they will march for their street. For sure, La Republic do Cameroon say they fit occupy places of Menchum, but they don't occupy all the places they will. Because now them they get this territory, they know all places they feel work at the military, no if you ever go there. 
Ya na ADF mention brigades. Today the first of October, twenty twenty one. They want perform their march pass for white line. So DDC for good drunk. Yes. With you as we see all these plenty soldiers and so. They are under the command of Supreme Commander. Go ahead. Doc Andu. Under the and leadership of Doctor Cho Ayaba, the community, the defense yes, forces, come out and give them what they the have this kind of celebration. When you want to summarize this, in the we will resist. You will reach Boya. Come rain, come sun. Yeah, I think in a in a summary, the images are coming out. I think we will continue to release them bit by bit and also on whatsapp i think we can we can try to round up i see a lot of people on ground zero they want us to continue but every good thing has an end we will have to continue tomorrow the images are still coming in i think the technical team can zoom us in so that we can round up like you said uh mr ps to round up let me just share some pictures from uh siseko ibine who have just seen his images he's also celebrating in the united states he's a patriot <laughs> and we are very proud of him and a lot of people like him i just want to thank uh, dr carson anyangwe he's always been there with the governing councils uh diplomatic team uh, dr larry ayamba and all those people who are working in the the policy team of the governing council and those who are working in the security bureau in my office uh, ddc my uh, deputy who is now working in the Atlantic State and all those people that make things happen in the governing council. I just want to take this moment to salute them because I know some of their faces will never be known. Their story will be known in Boya. And i like to say to round up, if I have to round up, I to sum it up. What I will have to tell Amazonia, this is Amazonian's freedom. We have come out, we of the governing council, organizing ourselves, implementing the vision of the Ambazonia we want. And uh, we also congratulate the other groups who are doing their own best Amazonia is a rainbow country full of various uh, ideology, but all of us have one thing in common. We want to effectuate the mandate our people have given us, which is to separate from Cameroon and effectuate our independence that was granted but never effectuated since 60 years ago. It has been long due. We will do everything in our, past, in our power to accomplish that. It is either we die fighting for freedom, but we will never never live under servitude again or subjugation from la republic to cameroon ground zero have demonstrated to the world that our national identity our nationalism cannot be killed it is in our heart no matter what you do you cannot kill it even if you allow the genocide to take place the stones the trees of our bazonia the graves that have been buried with our flags will rise up in their grave and they will be singing Hail, hail this land of glory until we have our independence. My for all <clears throat> for all our papa de mama media, one time kuna plenty. Say even though um, some people they be called for a lockdown, even though Cameroon be called for a lockdown, using Ambazonians. Even though they, some people they call, make forces, they not celebrate this independence. When I don't prove once more, say that independence, that freedom, we were people they want them. If you resist any evil force, any evil intention, any corny, any manipulation, any deception for make what people may they go back for Cameroon. So one time kuna plenty. So with all this confusion, when I be still get on a common sense for no saying the best thing for doam for this kind of time. Now for stand up and project Ambazonia made the world see him. Poor Bia, La Republic, and the dark forces. They no one made the world know how powerful it will be. They no one made the world know how much control will get them for ground. They no one made the world know say they say this independence now a grassroots movement. And are the people them 
they don't stand up for acts and demand for that independence. They are the people that they fight for that independence. They are the people that they sacrifice for that independence. So no dark forces, no dark intentions upon the Ambazonian people will ever prosper because of una determination, because of una belief for the freedom, because una don't make up una minds. Say na the thing this we want them, I will go do whatever it takes. So I want thank una say, even though with all this manipulation, with all this confusion, una do the right thing for Project Ambazonia. Today, the entire world don't see see now Ambazonian people they get control of the territory. They don't see what begin the march with our, with our community school uniforms. They see what defense forces all across the 13 states for every district, every block, and that they be in full control. When I don't see when our defense forces, the Bermuda Brigade, when I fight a major urban warfare for inside Bermuda for broad daylight, they stand for me the road for celebrating independence. They want to tell you that the Ambazonian people don't take control. Cameroon don't be defeated. They get for leaf. I want to thank our Biafran partners who they join with for celebrate. We see the wonderful celebration between the Ambazonian community and the Biafran community for South Africa. We see the wonderful celebration with the Biafran community and the Ambazonian community with our Biafran brothers and sisters. They join our brothers them and our sisters them. They celebrate with our community for Germany. We see the same thing for, for the United Kingdom, for, for London. We see the same thing for the United States. We see the same thing for Canada. We don't see the same thing all across the world. This partnership between Ambazonia and Biafra, now the greatest gift we our people don't explore, explore them. A big market, a strong people, and we will get a lot of things. The combination of Ambazonia and Biafra Alliance, the relationship, and our greatest opportunity is for our people them for expand their trade and their businesses and their economic opportunities. So I want to thank all now for a successful Independence Day. I want to thank all who are picking them for our community schools. They look very beautiful and cute and handsome. While boys picking them, they look very handsome for their uniforms. Or girls picking them look very princessly, if a word they like that, my I use them for the purpose of which I want to try for talk. Them. They look very beautiful, very adorable. And the culture this one see one bring them for our people them. While Mbororo communities and the Ambazonia communities, when I see the diversity, when I see how the Mbororo community that they dance, and then when you go for the state of Manu, when I see how the Manu people them, when they put their nyang juju, their obasinjom, their morning came, that they dance. Now we will be this as a people. Now the nation this one build them for all the way. So this Independence Day once more, they don't prove who will be, what determination, what commitment. For take back our country and they don't finally show to the entire world say the ambazonian people that they get full control of the territory it be now up to us for build the institutions them we will give our people them that sense of freedom tomorrow the leader of our war of independence dr ebacho he could address the ambazonian people them he could talk for the ambazonian people them he could lay out the independent day speech and give our people them a sense of direction for the vision and future of which will be the next step for this big victory may god bless you now and i stay fine we thank general ethan the supreme commander of ambazonia defense forces for the great work we don't do a lot the way we need for siam which we don't see him that just the beginning not be all videos they don't come out not be all things don't enter because on place wi-fi uh, internet be very weak so i know see when i expect a lot and we'll get a lot of our now all right may god bless you now i thank you now and i want to thank my very good friend comrade ddc capo daniel for not only the friendship we'll get them but the brotherly uh, hood with me and you 
we don't find ourselves to be very close and almost like like twins. I want to thank you for the friendship. I want to thank you for this brotherhood. And above all, I want to thank you for the the work or the duam together on behalf of our people them for serve the leader the most effective way we'll fit so that through ye the Ambazonian people feel actualize this independence. And I want to thank Grandpa Devil, uh, General Sumanguru for all the great work with the duam. I want to thank all the Ambazonian generals and I want to thank General Cobra you know, uh, for this boys and we it organize them for fight like a public for inside urban theater. You know, easy. I want to thank the generals and for for the great state of Bui, Commander Riwan. I want to thank General um, Kapo, General Bube, General Kumbo. Uh, I hope so I'm not forgetting any, anyone. If I forget, I beg remind me. <laughs> so I want to thank all my yeah. I thank plenty. So, thank you very much, my friend. And uh, in the governing council and in the ADF, patriotic spirit that born we together with friendship that strengthens our resolve to free our people and the love of our people and the love for democracy, freedom, and the virtues of the governing council really drives us. So in conclusion, I want to for, for, for show our people then for ground zero way that I'm brave all the odds, all the difficulties for come out for make a statement through the celebration of our Independence Day, the 60th anniversary, anniversary for tell them say the world they take notice, the world they see what they happen. I want for, for share one of the tweet two tweet one for the the big man for the senate foreign relationship committee for america their senate he published for twitter he shared the video the way the dwd the dw the channel for germany he talked about our war he talked for they say the he hashtag anglophone crisis in cameroon i encourage the newly affirmed secretary of state to prioritize this issue the recommendations of my bipartisan resolutions 684 to end the violence and work towards the end of the conflict. And also Tibo Nagy, the former Secretary of State for African Affairs, also even gave a very powerful tweet where that mark and he showed a change in tune from the Americans in a tweet he talks say, Cameroon Anglophone crisis is five years old, but the fundamental problems goes back to colonialism can't understand why France doesn't see its long-term interest in helping the Anglophone gain their rights rather than supporting Yaoundé scorch at politics or a policy which can't win. I think that sums it all. What Thibault Nagy represents is the American foreign policy. Uh, policy. He is a very powerful member with, uh, with the top clearance in the White House and his statements is a clear vindication of the theme of this year's celebration, which is Cameroon is defeated. They cannot win us. There is a shift in dip diplomatic language that calls for the way forward, which is given Ambazonians, Southern Cameroonians, their right. We are not asking something that is not rightfully ours. Their right for self-determination. The problem is the problem of colonialism in his word. For us, it is recolonialism by Cameroon from British to Cameroon, and we want it to come to an end so that our people can live out their life to fully enjoy their God-given rights as every people for independence. I want to also thank General uh, Cross and Die in Bamenda, our, my, my also counterpart at the head of the anti-kidnapping squad, Pastor Emma, and to thank uh, Commander Cobra, Rambo, and all those boys there, and also in Atlantic State, Captain Small Pekin, our mission commander there, also Commander Bruta. I want to thank our commander also in uh, in Pinying there. Uh, uh, how they call him again? I cannot remember his name. He will kill me. And all those who are doing a wonderful job on the ground. All our mothers, our Bayam Selams who are holding the economy. And those who are doing the community job. Our pastors who are praying for us. All Ambazonians, the sons and daughters of our territory who long for freedom that this day have shown us that we can make it and we will make it. It does not matter. We will hold grass, as we say it in Bamenda. We will fight on. We will never accept anything less than our full dignity. We cannot live in a country where a foreign army will come in, do kale kale, harass you. Nobody is safe. People cannot even speak 
of their death, let alone ask for justice from a country that knows no justice. We shall fight on. It is independence who oh, resistance forever. God bless you all. Continue to watch us and look forward to new images on ACN as we release them as we get them. All right. Una good night. Una take care. Yeah. Tomorrow we will talk on just before the leader is speech. Una take care. When new images are come out, we will release them for now because a lot more the day on the road for on the road within for on the the internet uh, transmission. <laughs> a lot they come. So you will make on a heart of a sweet. Make all man stay fine. Happy Independence Day. May God bless Ambazonia. Una good night. Happy Independence Day. Happy Independence Day.
Stay tuned on ACN TV. We will be right back. <laughs> 